Hi, I'm Dr. Mukesh Gupta from Lenist Mallard. What is thalassemia? And why is it important for us to check it? And what are the various issues that we need to know if we find out that we are carrying that particular problem or trait? Well, today we're going to discuss this very important cause of anemia. Thalassemia is a different type of hemoglobin which is there in the body. So, not everybody has the same type of hemoglobin. Some people have a different type of hemoglobin. And when the two chains of hemoglobin, the globin chains we say, is of different type, then the oxygen carrying capacity, the ability of your red blood cells to carry oxygen from one part of the body to another, mainly the heart and lungs from there to the rest of the body, is actually affected. And this is the problem with thalassemia trait or disease. Now first let us understand that what is this thalassemia trait or thalassemia disorder and what are the different types. So broadly it is uh, alpha thalassemia, beta thalassemia and other things. Let's not get into the technical classification but more important that this is a particular trait which is there on the genes of an individual. So if a person is carrying both the chromosomes with that particular gene, he, they suffer from thalassemia major and that is actually a big problem. But if they carry it only on one of the gene and the other gene is a normal gene, then it's not a big issue and they are just carrying that gene and they call it carrier and that's called as thalassemia minor. Now when we talk about these minor, actually these are the people who will be living a very normal life. Absolutely nothing. They'll be running around, playing, they will be in sports, they will be in any field, academics and there'll be no problem. And they will never ever come to know that they are suffering from this disease. But only if they get your blood check done, that is the time when they realize, okay, they have a different type of hemoglobin. And that's why they are labeled as Thel minor. Or unfortunately, when they have a baby, when a Thel minor is married to another Thel minor, and when they have a baby, and if that baby lands up with a um, Thel major disease, then they'll come to know that they were carrying this trait. And that's very unfortunate. Now let us try to understand that if there is a Thel minor, how will it lead to a Thel major disease? Well, a thal minor in their life will never become a thal major. So it is just a tendency which you are carrying, but you are not going to get affected. Whereas if a thal minor person is married to another thal minor person, and if both of them have babies, there is 25% chance that the baby will be thal major, suffering from a disease, which will be really a troublesome one, or 50% chance that they'll be thal minor, and 25% chance that the baby will be absolutely normal, not even carrying the trait of Thel minor. So in simple words, not all the children born out of Thel minor will be affected. Only one in four will be affected and rest can live a normal life. Now what is this Thel major? Why do we need to know about Thel major? Well, these are the children for the first few weeks or months of the life, they will not be actually having any issue. But by three to six months of life, they may start showing the clinical picture. These are the children, one, all their life, they have to undergo blood transfusions every few weeks all through their life imagine that second they have high chances of iron toxicity one mainly because of excessive absorption of iron by the body because it needed badly to make the hemoglobin but also because of the repeated transfusions that they get and so they will be having to be on chelation therapy for major part of their life now this is something which actually is the problem with thal major children they will be having a low uh, immunity and various different risks, etc. along with that. Well, in simple words, it is really unfortunate if a thal major baby has to be handled or taken care of, not just for that baby, but also for the parents. So how can we prevent this from happening? A very simple thing. So this is the golden tip in the whole session. Every individual should get their screening for thalassemia done either in their growing years, yeah, early years of life, that is in young age, or at least when they are pregnant in the first few weeks, preferably before even the first 10 weeks of their pregnancy. Because if you are able to pick up that you're carrying a thal minor trait. So uh, say for example, a pregnant woman walks into the clinic and she comes for a regular checkup. Everything is perfect, but when we do a thalassemia screening, we find out that it is thal minor. Now what next? We ask the husband to do the test. And if the partner is normal, forget about it. But if the partner is having Thal minor, then we request them to get a prenatal test done. A prenatal test involves a checking of the baby inside the mother by way of getting the sample from Coronavirus sampling. 
and we send it for checking to see whether there is a risk of that baby inside the mother's womb to carry that particular disease that is thalmagia. If we are late, then it can also be done by virtue of a test called as amniocentesis, where the fluid around the baby is sent for checking, which can be done up to the, you know, 16 to 18 weeks, ideally, because 20 weeks beyond it becomes difficult for us to medically take a call for the, even if the disease, if the report is negative. So, best time to check a pregnant woman would be in the first 10 weeks of her pregnancy and then subject her to further investigation if she and her partner both are suffering from thalminer trait. What if there is a thalminer? Will there be an issue? Will it cause any problem? No, the life goes on like any other person. In fact, nobody will ever come to know that they're carrying a thalminer trait. You know, historically, it was said that as per evolution, the people in the Asian or Mediterranean region who are more susceptible to be carrying this gene actually was a mechanism for defense against diseases like malaria so that they will be having lesser effect and lesser problem even if they are affected by the malaria uh, disease and that is how the story goes but if a person is suffering from the disease it's a problem and carrying a trait is actually not a problem so my take home message here is number one every every young adult should be checked for this thalassemia trait in the early part of life b if you have missed out at least in the first 10 weeks of your pregnancy please try to get yourself checked by screening test of whether you're carrying the thalassemia gene or not. And if you're doing that, you will save yourself from a huge lot of trouble of landing up with an abnormal thalassemia major child. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Dr. Mukesh Gupta from Lenisk Malad. What is thalassemia? And why is it important for us to check it? And what are the various issues that we need to know if we find out that we are carrying that particular problem? or trait. Well, today we're going to discuss this very important cause of anemia. Thalassemia is a different type of hemoglobin which is there in the body. So, not everybody has the same type of hemoglobin. Some people have a different type of hemoglobin. And when the two chains of hemoglobin, the globin chains we say, is of different type, then the oxygen carrying capacity, the ability of your red blood cells to carry oxygen from one part of the body to another mainly the heart and lungs from there to the rest of the body is actually affected. And this is the problem with thalassemia trait or disease. Now first let us understand that what is this thalassemia trait or thalassemia disorder and what are the different types. So broadly it is uh, alpha thalassemia, beta thalassemia and other things. Let's not get into the technical classification but more important that this is a particular trait which is there on the genes of an individual. So if a person is carrying both the chromosomes with that particular gene, they suffer from thalassemia major and that is actually a big problem. But if they carry it only on one of the gene and the other gene is a normal gene, then it's not a big issue and they are just carrying that gene and they call as carrier and that's called as thalassemia minor. Now when we talk about these minor, actually these are the people who will be living a very normal life absolutely nothing they'll be running around playing they will be in sports they will be in any field academics and there'll be no problem and they will never ever come to know that they are suffering from this disease but only if they get your blood check done that is the time when they realize okay they have a different type of hemoglobin and that's why they are labeled as thal minor or unfortunately when they have a baby when a thal minor is married to another thal minor and when they have a baby and if that baby lands up with a um, thal major disease then they'll come to know that they were carrying this trait and that's very unfortunate now let us try to understand that if there is a thal minor how will it lead to a thal major disease well a thal minor in their life will never become a thal major so it is just a tendency which you're carrying but you're not going to get affected Whereas, if a thal minor person is married to another thal minor person and if both of them have babies, there is 25% chance that the baby will be thal major, suffering from a disease which will be really a troublesome one or 50% chance that they will be thal minor and 25% chance that the baby will be absolutely normal, not even carrying the trait of thal minor. So, in simple words, not all the children born out of thal minor will be affected only one in four will be affected and rest can live a normal life. Now what is this thal major? Why do we need to know about thal major? Well, 
these are the children for the first few weeks or months of the life they will not be actually having any issue but by three to six months of life they may start showing the clinical picture these are the children one all their life they have to undergo blood transfusions every few weeks all through their life imagine that second they have high chances of iron toxicity one mainly because of excessive absorption of iron by the body because it needed badly to make the hemoglobin but also because of the repeated transfusions that they get and so they will be having to be on chelation therapy for major part of their life now this is something which actually is the problem with thal major children they will be having a low uh, immunity and various different risks etc along with that well in simple words it is really unfortunate if a thal major baby has to be handled or taken care of not just for that baby but also for the parents so how can we prevent this from happening a very simple thing so this is the golden tip in the whole session every individual should get their screening for thalassemia done either in their growing years or early years of life that is in young age or at least when they are pregnant in the first few weeks preferably before even the first 10 weeks of their pregnancy because if you are able to pick up that you're carrying a thal minor trait so of uh, say for example a pregnant woman walks into the clinic and she comes for a regular checkup everything is perfect but when we do a thalassemia screening we find out that it is thal minor now what next we ask the husband to do the test and if the partner is normal forget about it but if the partner is having thal minor then we request them to get a prenatal test done a prenatal test involves a checking of the baby inside the mother by way of getting the sample from coran villa sampling and we send it for checking to see whether there is a risk of that baby inside the mother's womb to carry that particular disease that is thal major if we are late then it can also be done by virtue of a test called as amniocentesis where the fluid around the baby is sent for checking which can be done up to the you know uh, 16 to 18 weeks ideally because 20 weeks skip beyond it becomes difficult for us to medically take a call for the uh, even if the disease if the report is uh, negative so best time to check a pregnant woman would be in the first 10 weeks of her pregnancy and then subject her to further investigation if she and her partner both are suffering from thal minor trait what if there is a thal minor will there be an issue will it cause any problem no the life goes on like any other person in fact nobody will ever come to know that they are carrying a thal minor trait you know historically it was said that as per evolution the people in the asian or mediterranean region who are more susceptible to be carrying this gene actually was a mechanism for defense against diseases like malaria so that they will be having lesser effect and lesser problem even if they are affected by the malaria uh, disease and that is how the story goes but if a person is suffering from the disease it's a problem and carrying a trait is actually not a problem so my take home message here is number 1 every every young adult should be checked for this thalassemia trait in the early part of life b if you have missed out at least in the first 10 weeks of your pregnancy please try to get yourself checked by screening test of whether you are carrying the thalassemia gene or not and if you are doing that you will save yourself from a huge lot of trouble of landing up with an abnormal thalassemia major child thank you very much